How was your night? My night was pretty awesome. I just got back from showing a bunch of police officers for real smart summon. This wasn't staged. That vehicle's coming towards you, and yes, you are in control of it. But no buts, meow. That's the law. What's up, everybody? It's late. I'm Brian from I Want Tesla, and my dad and I went to Chick-fil-A tonight, and guess what we ran into? There was a meet and greet for a bunch of new officers. Well, not totally new officers, but new officers to the area for the traffic division. Awesome time. Luckily, I brought my camera. Luckily, I brought my dad. I handed him the camera after I already asked one of the police officers if I can show him Smart Summon and ask him some questions, some real questions that a lot of people are looking for the answers for. Of course, there was a video out there from Drag Times, obviously staged. He never said it was staged, but obviously it was staged. But it was a great video. He did a great job of that. One of you does not get a, an Emmy for acting. I think it was the cop. Ah, uh, sorry about that. All right, ma'am. I wanted to also show them because they're going to run into this issue. They're going to run into these cars getting in an accident on in a parking lot. It's going to happen, and they need to be aware of what could happen and understand the technology. Um, one of the guys that was, there's two that walked over to the car with me. One of them knew about Tesla quite a bit. The other one kind of heard some things about Tesla, but it was great to educate them on the car. And really, to me, I, I took this as a educational thing for them and also um, to thank them for what they do. They have a very difficult job. I could not do that. It's a very tough job, but uh, I, I commend them for doing that. Here's the video. It's my dad holding the camera, me talking. He kind of got caught up in a little bit of the um, conversation while he wasn't looking through the camera. So uh, some of the footage might be off a little bit, but the whole point is I was able to ask questions and get real answers this time. Am I saying meow? All right, so ho hopefully we don't have an accident here and you can wait him up. <laughs> so this come to me feature is actually pretty cool. Um, I was a target. I wasn't too busy at the time. As I'm walking out the door, I just hit the door and come to me. It met me halfway. Really? To the car, because I always park far away. But yeah. People are damaged, That's what people are looking like. You have to hold the button? You have to hold the you button? You have to hold the button all the time. Oh, so okay. you're watching. Uh, eventually, you won't have to. Yeah. Eventually, this full self-driving will drop you off at the front door. And it'll go by the car. So it'll come back to pick you up. So even if, well, let's say even if you're old and mm -hmm. you don't see something, you know, something where it will it stop? It'll stop if it uh, sees anybody. If it sees a car pull out, if it sees someone walking. And that's why the camera is Yeah. yeah. And it, it has 12 uh, sonars around it. Uh, There's one radar, and, and one long uh, radar that will bounce the signal underneath the car in front of you, so it can read the car in front of that on the highway. Really cool. I bet my car's actually slowed down in autopilot because the car in front of the car in front of me slowed down. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to hold the come to me button. It's pretty freaky. You see a lot of videos on YouTube where people put skeletons in the car. Yeah, you go through like a drive. I don't know. You know <laughs> it doesn't see lines at all. So if I'm standing over there, it would actually come right across the lines. Yeah. Uh, the good part is when you're pinpointing a spot, you can pinpoint a spot to the right side of the road, say in front of, uh, uh, it's going to come right to me, or it's just going to stop there. It's probably just going to stop there, because it, it sees the curves, it sees everybody, and a big group of people standing there. Yeah. I'm probably confusing most people. Yeah. And I can just move it forward. If I just look forward. It's a different part of something, that's the older part of it. That'll just go up 20 feet. Unless you tell the stop. Yeah, unless I tell it to stop. Or it sees that curve. But I don't trust what car parts left on that curve. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be bad news. So you saw the car driving down here. I'm not in the car. What if someone backs out into the car and hits my car even though I'm controlling it? Well, I you know, so at least in this state, North Carolina, you know, when we do an accident report, a wreck report. We don't, we don't determine who's at fault, just contributing circumstances. So mm -hmm. if, if that vehicle is coming towards you, and yes, you are in control of it, mm -hmm. and that vehicle backs out, I mean, it'd be in proper backing on their their point, you know, yeah. their part. So that would be, you know, on them. But, okay. You know, if it was a situation to where, let's say, if there was fault, you know, not to use that word, but if there was fault to put on this vehicle, I would say you're still in operation of it. But yeah, like I said I think that's still to be ironed out in the law. This is you know, new. The, yeah. And it is a beta. Yeah. Uh, and the they line. do say to do it responsibly, so that's that's in the guidelines. And, and one thing that you you have 
uh, more so than most other people out here is you have cameras in all angles yes. of your car. So if something were to happen, you know, we would be able to review that. Yes. And, and, and the insurance company as well. So It'll record for an hour yes. um, previous. Yeah. And that, that stays on the hard drive and that just keeps overriding. So, but I will say that the form that we do. use to document uh, accidents, mm -hmm. uh, you know, when it goes through driver, so you, you go through, you know, occupant restraint and everything, like what the drive, so it'd be kind of interesting because the driver's not sitting in the car, so, yeah. you know, there's not really an option for that on our form. Yeah. So it had to be, <laughs> uh, four or three. Uh, you know, amended at some point. I don't know when that would happen, but I'm assuming sometime in the future. Yeah. I got people signing it. Yeah. A lot of subscribers. I wrapped the car myself. I'm going to redo this. I oh, redo okay. I, I screwed up on this panel. But I'm just letting them sign this because I'm going to do it again. Probably this winter. Eight miles an hour. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, there's a huge trunk in the back, too. This it? thing is all glass. Oh, really? Huh. It is. Wow. It doesn't come with this floor. Yeah. Huge trunk back here. Oh, that is a good trunk. That's a, well, license and registration, please. But it's all there's no motors. I mean, well, actually, this one's just rear wheel drive. Okay, they make them all wheel drive. Yeah, but uh, dual, all wheel drive and dual motors. So if you lose a motor, you can still go down the road. Technically, yes. So is your channel I1 Tesla? Yes, it's I1 Tesla. What does the I1 stand for? I bugged my wife for two years to get a Tesla because she works in Charlotte. Oh, and okay. She'd call me like. You know, two or three times a month saying talk to me I'm tired she works long hours yeah and that's the scariest thing on the other end yeah so after she finally test drove one we got one so after two years I won there you go <laughs> but it was for her yeah and the but, door handle the door handles work oh, it's kind of like a Lamborghini you push on this side and the door handle pops oh, open it's it it's actually a lever that just pushes a button it's really oh, weird it's all electronic I mean the whole thing's electronic yeah, I've seen a video like the council console thing in there. Yeah. How many cameras? I see you got one on each side. There's here. eight total. Eight total oh, cameras. Camera. There, right here. There's three up front here on the windshield, and then one in the back. And the cool thing is, there's a sentry mode. There's an alarm system yep. yeah, that will record out of this one, one of the front ones, and the back. So it's so um, it, and it records to a hard drive inside. So yeah. if there's any damage, any movement. It will record that and save it to the hard drive. If there's a, if if there's a major thing like someone breaks a window, that actually sends the footage to Tesla. What is the cell carrier? AT and T. Yeah. <laughs> that uh, can go with Verizon, yeah. could they? <laughs> well, they got to deal with AT and T. Yeah. So. These things got some get up and go though, right? I mean, yeah, they make so quick yeah. because it's instant torque. Yeah. This is it's like a roller coaster. Yeah. And this is the, one of the slowest ones they make. What's the, how much is the top line model? Oh. Of this? Or just like the top of line Tesla, I don't even know. Well, the top of line Tesla is about 120, but that's the Model S that can do zero to 60 in 2.3 2. 2. seconds or 2.4 seconds. <laughs> that is, that'll get you nauseous if you're yeah. not used to it. It is um, like a roller coaster. My wife has the Model X version of that, the SUV version, yes. which is like oh, okay. 5,500 pounds. And how many rows of seats does she have? That just, we just got the two rows of seats. So we didn't need the third, but that'll do zero to 60 in 2.8 seconds. And it's wow. a big That's piece. a big thing, yeah. yeah. Not oh, that we've done that. Just kidding, officer. All wheel drive? Only on, <laughs> <laughs> only at the track. That's right. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's it's all wheel drive. So good, uh, good wet weather performance. Yeah. So, uh, Even though this is rear wheel drive, mm -hmm. the computer reads the rear tires at a thousand frames per second. So you can't even spin the tires. You can't do donuts. fun on the track but you get to a certain point and the, the motor or the computer will start cutting power but it's fun in a straight line video of a guy getting his Tesla stopped for running a stop sign in the parking lot yeah and it was it was stage I mean you could tell it was stage all day long yeah got pulled over the parking lot you can actually go camping in the thing it'll it'll come on and off and yeah to regulate temperature yeah or yeah, yeah yeah you yeah you're right you don't have to have an engine running it's yeah. it's batteries <laughs> Well, the future. 
I had an awesome time showing you guys, uh, showing these police officers my car. They loved the modifications I did to the car, but also showing them the, about the car, about talking about the safety things, the cameras, about the batteries, about everything on the car. It was amazing to show to talk to these people. I love talking about Tesla, obviously, but it was amazing to talk to people that are going to come in contact with these cars, whether they like it or not. So they need to understand them. I had an awesome time. Hopefully I never see them behind me with the lights on, but if I do, yeah, I was being stupid. Stay awesome, stay positive. Leave your comments down below. I'm kind of curious what you guys think, what you guys have seen. I know a lot of people have been doing summon testing and busy parking lots and not being safe about it. This took a while for us to get the car over to the to us because I was wait because it was a busy busy parking lot and I was waiting for a, a clear time because I didn't want to run into the risk of actually finding out for for real for actually insurance real what happens if my car gets hit so or if my car hits somebody but anyway stay awesome stay positive and stay safe out there one more favor yes yeah can i park close to a, a police car and you for a thumbnail no, 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 i can't do that no, i can't do that <laughs> hey, that's really cool i appreciate yeah, it yeah that's, thank you. that's awesome thank yeah. you very much yeah, really hey, cool. appreciate it again all right, thanks thank guys you. appreciate right. it thank you sure, have a good one, okay? you too thanks and hey i love those mods you did that car that was awesome